Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to the Ceramic Repair Studio. So I thought in today's video I would just show you just briefly how to do a simple repair by gluing a piece of porcelain or ceramic back together. Now this is broken in a few parts so I thought it'd be quite a good exercise to show you how to do a simple break. But before I do, if you enjoy the video afterwards, please subscribe, like and share, and also please put a thumbs up, it really helps with the algorithm. So right, let's get going. So here we have our pieces, and as you can see, it's broken in one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, two larger and four slightly smaller. Now, what I'm going to use is a glue, which is the Araldite glue. And although this is porcelain and sometimes I use the 2020, I thought today I would show you how to use the slow release Araldite with porcelain. You can still use this also on pottery and other form of ceramics, but this is readily available. So I thought we'd do this today. Now, what you do is you actually mix half of one and then half of the other in even quantities and I've already done this here I've mixed it up in a bottle top which I collect just and also with just a cocktail stick and you just want to mix it until it's nicely mixed and you can tell because it starts to go slightly cloudy now what I'm going to use also is some scotch tape which I have here just to glue it on with once it's actually glued in place I prefer scotch tape to um, tape which is very sticky because when it comes off it doesn't leave a glue residue so much so I do like to I do prefer scotch tape so what we're going to do first I like to do the two larger pieces first so after I've had a little practice run of roughly knowing where everything is going to go you just even if you just roughly place it to where you think it is then it's kind of easier it's set out so the first bit i'm going to do is i'm going to glue this part now i'm going to take you only glue on one side so i'm going to just glue on this side here and then apply if you glue on both sides the glue will actually want to pull apart so only glue one side so here we have our glue and you don't need very much just a tiny amount so just glue it on, put the glue on one side like so. Now you want it to be as fine as you possibly can because you get a tighter fit if you, because obviously you're adding another element to it. If you live in a warm country, great, because the glue would be not so thick, it would be finer. Um, one person did ask me if you could put it into the oven, your item before gluing. The only problem being most ovens are slightly greasy and you would end up with a greasy res residue. So even if you put it somewhere warmer, perhaps, you know, on a windowsill by a window with the sun beaming down, or just try to put it in a slightly warmer place so the glue's thinner. So once we've done that, we're then just going to place it and then hold. And then we want to take a piece of scotch tape Fold it on one side so it's easy when we pull it away again. So we just hold here and then you just want to pull it really tightly. Hold and then pull so it's in place. And we we'll do another pass as well. Now, what I like about slow, slow release glue is the fact that, you know, you can keep pressing it in and tweaking it. It's not it's not like fast glue where you have no wiggle time and space. So you can keep going back to it and, you know, making sure it's nice and aligned. I do tend to find that Araldite tends to, it says 24 hours, I think, but I like to leave it a good two or three days for it to set the longer you leave it the you know the harder it will become and it will set better so once i've glued one bit and i've made sure that it's all on each 
part you also then to want to just then just go round through it again just to get any surplus glue off so say you make sure you've got both sides done and then just wipe off and then we'll just gently place then we'll take our sellotape well scotch tape sorry And then just do on the go on the other side. Again, I like to hold down and then press in. We have to do this all at the same time. If I left it, say left this here to dry and then did the other side, you would find you would end up with a lockout because we are actually adding in another element, which is a glue. Basically, you would not be able to fix the last bit in, it would actually lock it out, so it wouldn't be nice and tight. So the next part I think I'm going to do will be this side here. So I'm just going to do just this part, this side, so it can just stick on. Before I do that, I'm just going to take some more scotch tape. And we just, again, we just keep going through, go on that side. And then once we've got it completely covered, just go over it again. And then just gently place. Right, so now I'm going to go to this part here and I'm going to glue this bit here and this bit here so again we'll just take our glue the other side and then oh, we could just this bit here And then go over again just to make sure that there's no surplus and then we're going to just place it on so just hold and place and we'll just take some more scotch tape And then we're just going to take our last little piece here and then just glue the last bit. If you have any surplus glue, that is fine. We can just leave it for a little bit longer and we can always take it off afterwards. But I also have a kitchen roll here which you can wipe off any surplus glue as well. Let me just slot that last piece in and again small scotch tape when you're gluing you want to make sure that you don't touch any um any gold gilding so this has gold gilding on the edge so you wouldn't want to put any glue or any tape on the gilding because it will take the the um, the gold off so that's it that's all ready I will probably leave it for about an hour or so and then I will look on the other side just to make sure I'll keep coming back to it coming back to it adjusting make sure that it's got a tight fit I could if I wanted to to actually prop it up so it's actually propped up um, so gravity or I could just leave it like this and keep going back to it. I can see that one or two bits still want to come apart. So again, I would just take my scotch tape and take that on. 
as I say I'm going to come back to this in about an hour and I'm going to go and I'm going to just double check keep feeling it making sure it's nice and tight keep squeezing it together making sure it's in alignment from one side and also from the other so I hope you enjoyed this video today it's just a short video just to show you how to glue porcelain how to repair your piece of ceramic with just simple araldite slow release glue and again please subscribe like and share and i really look forward to seeing you in the next one okay bye